No, I won't do that to you. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Nisi Pisa. I'm your host, Nisi Pisa, and we're having a little Saturday afternoon slumber party. I'm wearing a bathrobe, and I didn't even put in my contact lenses to be extra casual with you. Recently, I was tagged on Twitter with some rather distressing information. Eloquy, a well-known veteran of the online plus-size clothing business, is making ugly clothes. And as the resident gatekeeper of plus-size fashion on YouTube, well, I just can't let that continue. Unchecked. So today we're going to be window shopping Eloquy, which is not a store that I've window shopped before, despite the fact that it's been requested, because as you can tell by my upload schedule, well, I just hate doing what you guys want me to do. However, I'm very keen to window shop Eloquy because every piece of clothing I've ever owned from Eloquy has been bad. So let's see just what is going on in the house of Quee. I've just loaded up the website and everything looks normal so far. This is the cutout handkerchief hem denim skirt. Um, okay. Yowza, that's... Well, okay. I love the flaps. Anytime an article of clothing just has dead hanging fabric labia like this, I find it just absolutely tantalizing. I love that you can see the lining of the inside of the skirt because of the way it's folding outward. And that just looks awful. I have to take a step back and really be honest with myself. Do I hate this skirt simply because it is light wash denim? I don't like light wash denim. Why? Say it with me. Because it doesn't look good on me, exactly. And I am, say it with me, the only person whose taste matters. Thank you. The skirt's 100% cotton, that's nice. I appreciate that. I love cotton. I try to, in I endeavor to wear as close to 100% cotton clothes as possible because both I'm better than you as a person and I will be getting into heaven, but also I am both fat and on estrogen and on an SSRI. So I'm like very sweaty all the time. No, I think the skirt is just ugly. What do you guys think? Do I like these shoes? I don't like these shoes. I don't, you know why I don't like these shoes? They look like they would hurt to walk in. They look like they would seem comfortable because they're a short heel, you know? They're just like a casual summer shoe that you step into. But these rounded straps like this, they love nothing more than to just grind themselves into your foot skin and blister it up in there. My God, I know from experience. Do you guys remember that Wednesday show with Jenna Ortega? Wasn't there a bit where like her and her roommate had like opposite aesthetics? So they divided their room down the middle and decorated it wildly differently? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like that. The mixed striped ribbed dress. Sorry. I'll try to make sure I introduce the girls before I berate them from now on. Now, hold on. Let me just check something. Does it look gorgeous in the black model? Yeah, she's kind of eating in it, to be honest. Although, here's my thing. I love this mixture of colors on the colorful side. And I feel like if the whole dress was just these rainbow colors, all the way across, I would love this. I love a bright color mixed in with black like this. I'm a big fan of color blocking in general. I love the proportion of black stripes to colorful stripes on this side. I really enjoy this. And then like, it's just dragged down by this other half of the dress. It feels like a potentially adorable dress was sacrificed in pursuit of this gimmicky dress that we got. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it could also look better. And that's what I have a problem with. I feel like that implied that I don't think this model like looks good in it. Model, I'm so, you're a beautiful woman. They gave her the pink background. They gave her the better lighting. Like you're here to show the garment. She's here to sell it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Striped tank sweater dress with ruffles. Yeah, I can see them. I can see them. Oh man. First of all, I love these shoes. I love a pointed toe sling back. I find them so uncomfortable to actually wear, but I think they look hot. You know why I love them? There is this fan-made music video to the song Remember That Time by Regina Spector that I used to watch all the time 
in 2012, 2011, when I was starting college. I love Virginia Spector and I love that song. The girl in the video is wearing this adorable pair of magenta pointed toe slingbacks. And I think about those shoes all the time. They're like one of my favorite pairs of shoes I've ever seen. I think they're just like very chic. They're very evocative of this like adorable mid to late 2000s New York City mood that the whole video gives off. I just, it, I find them delightful. But we're not here to talk about these cute shoes. Although I am wondering what shoes did they put the other model in? I hate these. I don't like these at all. I don't like a square toe like this. Oh, but they broke out the good highlighter for her. Look at her cheekbone. She looks like a goddess. And they put her in this ugly dress. For what? Cause you hate women? You hate women of color, Eloquy? Oh, I had a bit that I filmed for my clothing awards video from last week. Um, but I eventually cut out of the video because I didn't feel like I made my point all that well. That was really centered on mid 2010s micro trends which is something I have a lot of personal experience with. As a millennial, which is my favorite way to start sentences, I have very fond memories of walking through the mall as a teenager and seeing everything from color wash jeans to spiked platform heels to peplum tops to the statement necklaces with the owls and the giant turquoise beads on them, slouchy boots, infinity scarves, and you know, dozens of other adorably tacky recession core microtrends. And one of my least favorite is the chevron print. I'm kind of surprised and I'm amazed that I personally never owned anything chevron print, considering I was both a young millennial adult and a teacher during the time when it was popular. I just, chevron prints, I don't know how to describe why I don't like them. I just feel as though they add nothing. They're like black holes. Instead of creating style, they absorb it and bend it into something eldritch and unknowable and painful because they're pointy. They're the spaghettification of fast fashion. This is getting away from me. I guess if I were gonna succinctly sum this up, I would say that I think this dress is kind of ugly and silly looking and over-designed. And I feel like there's 1 million maxi dresses that are cuter than this dress that you could buy instead especially for $77. Like if you're gonna spend $77 on an article of clothing, why not have it be not this one? Metallic silver faux leather zip front skirt. Faux leather, yeah, right. Hey, Eloquy, exactly how many robot alligators had to die for you to make this skirt? And not only did you do that, you turned them into skirts with front slits. I hate front slits. I don't like them at all. I think they make you look like you're wearing weird pants from a distance. I don't get them. I like the chic elegance and simplicity of a side slit. Sue me, put me in prison right now, I dare you. You know what, actually I'll do it myself. If I'm a criminal for hating center slit skirts, hey, lock me up. I'm ready to go. I wanted to do this bit in the last video so bad. I ended up cutting the portion of the video where I made this joke with the handcuffs. <laughs> These aren't mine, by the way. They're just in my apartment, okay? And that, hey, my art pop could mean anything. The one shoulder bow column dress. That's a really appropriate name for this. This very much is a column. This is one of the most cylindrical dresses I've ever seen, I think. <laughs> Good God! This woman looks like she is carrying pillowcases. What is happening? You know, I'm beginning to understand the context, the hidden context. This dress must have been created in the following way. This is what I believe, this is my truth. This is like if, if two seamstresses fell in love with each other, but it was a forbidden romance. They were from rivaling ateliers. And one afternoon, they're both out buying fabric for their respective fashion houses, and they both reach for the same roll of white lace at the same time their hands touch. They look at each other in the eyes, smash cut to them, hot and heavy in the stock room of one of their fashion houses. And I, you know, I'll spare you the gory details, but they are gory and there are details. All of a sudden, the lights flip on in the stock room. Somebody has come 
to interrupt. They're tryst. The seamstress from the rival house hides right away. Because if she's caught, she'll surely be killed. <laughs> but the other has to save face with her coworker. So she stands up, wraps herself in the nearest bolt of fabric she can find, and tries to talk her way out of it. Samantha, <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. I was simply looking for a piece of heavy looking pink polyester fabric and I fell and my, the shoulder of my outfit caught on one of the floor tiles and it tore all of my clothes off. Why am I sweating? Well, the planet is dying, Samantha. It gets hotter every year. Asymmetrical neckline. No, really? Dramatic bow detail is permanently attached. <laughs> there is no way to wear this dress in a way that does not look like you are a piece of bubble tape gum that a giant was chewing and discarded on the underside of a huge table. That's the look you're going for with this. If that's not the look you want, get a different dress. I feel like a lot of people's knee jerk assumption for how to make this dress look better would be to throw a belt on it, right? Define the waist a little bit. I personally am of the opinion that defining waistlines is entirely overrated. God, this scene is just terrible looking. Jesus Christ. So often people rush to belt something. They rush to just give themselves waist definition without paying any mind to how it's going to disrupt the draping of the fabric. Sometimes fabric is too thick to look good when it's belted. I think people should be more willing to accept not having a visible waistline in everything. Although maybe this dress is a bad example. I don't think anybody should wear this under any circumstances, even if they are trying to normalize shapeless garments. There's shapeless, and sister, there's tasteless. My God, those are huge pants. You could fit a whole beach umbrella under those. Oh, gorgeous. It's a little bit of false advertising though. This looks good in the picture, having the two ribbons in the back flying in the air behind her. It's a lovely composition. I would have to put on this jumpsuit and then break into a dead sprint and not give it up until I was ready to take the jumpsuit off. And that's not fair to me and all the people that I would bump into. I'm very uncoordinated when I run. I would like you to take my hand and walk with me as we continue this journey into shapelessness hosted by Eloquy. This is the ruffle neckline mini dress. And I have to say, there's something about these dresses, dresses like this that I adore. I mean, an off the shoulder dress that sets its width at the shoulder and doesn't taper in at the waist, it doesn't taper in at the hips, it doesn't taper in at the bust line in an empire waist type situation, it just drops from the shoulder. I think it can actually look kind of like sweet, and especially in this white color, it reminds me of something like an angel would wear in a Christmas decoration. Something else that these necklines remind me of is um, snakes. You know when a snake eats something whole? It looks a little bit like the person wearing a dress like this is being swallowed whole by an eyeless snake. Man, we are seeing such interesting fabric shapes today. I feel like I'm a kindergarten teacher and I'm teaching you all about polygons for the first time. This page is actually about this skirt. We're not here to talk about the skirt. I actually quite like this skirt, this asymmetrical orange skirt. I think it's a pretty color. I think it's a nice looking fabric. I like it. I like poplin, you know? I wanna talk about this top that is part of the set that the skirt comes in. And my chief question about it is, when is it enough for the love of God? At what point is it enough? I respect us as a species bending the confines of drapery, but at a point, I think we have to admit when we've crafted something that looks less like a top and more like an airplane flotation device. At the very least, don't make it orange, right? It looks like a, like a series of cheese puffs that are gently cradling your bosom or like a, a pack of very enthusiastic giant shrimps. I do like the shade of orange though. It's, like a, it's a little Kraft mac and cheese, but I also find it like very sunny and summery. I like it. You know, I don't even like hate how this looks actually. Like it's very silly but like, I like silly, I'm silly. Like I would wear this entire outfit. It's just that every time I passed by someone wearing a normal outfit, which being in Boston is most people, I would feel like a, like a sideshow act. I, I, every time I'm like fitted up in Boston, every time I'm wearing an ensemble, right? And I pass someone who's just wearing like jeans, I'm just like, oh God, 
I'm making a spectacle of myself. My spring coat is an ankle length sage green raincoat. One of my prized possessions, I love it. But it's a giant coat that is also green. And in Boston, when I wear it, I feel like a pickle. I feel like pickle Nisa. It just is embarrassing. It's embarrassing wearing a cool, or at least not even cool, interesting outfit in a city of people who as a whole don't serve. There are people in Boston who serve, and I'm talking about people who are from Boston. If you're a college student in Boston and you're from somewhere else, I don't mean you. Of course you're wearing a fun outfit. You're 19, it's all you know how to do. God, this model cannot catch a break today. And they still have her in these horrible shoes. They're not even her size. Friends, Romans, viewers, I crave your advice. I crave your assistance. I desperately, need to know if you are also seeing the neckline of this dress. Specifically, the confusing angle that it is at. It's not just like that, right? No, they must have been like dressing the model in a hurry and nobody told this poor beautiful woman to grab those little chest seams like the darting and just give them a good delicate but firm hike to the side. No, cause it's, okay. Am I like bugging or is it still kind of like sideways a little? I don't know. It's possible that I've just been looking at this for too long. That's not even why I wanted to talk about this dress. I find this an absolutely grotesque color combination. <laughs> this sort of like weird dip dye we've got going on here. It looks like, um, well, it looks bad, you know? It looks like bad. <laughs> You never want a dress to look like you were wearing a nice, normal blush pink sundress. And then you started frolicking in a meadow that happened to be downwind from a nuclear power plant. And then you wound up with a bunch of radioactive grass stains on the bottom half of your dress. Whoever at Eloquy is addicted to picking colors that I don't like for things, I want them fired. I want their address. I want their social security number. I want them on the next flight to Jupiter. They thought, and I appreciate this level of underhandedness as a fellow rapscallion myself. They thought that they could put this blouse, this grotesque top, I don't even wanna call it a blouse. It's not a blouse, it's a top, it's a shirt. On this gorgeous model, they thought they'd sneak it past my taste sensors. They forgot that I'm a seasoned professional. First of all, they did this with one of the other things too. Spell out asymmetrical. What is it, cost money? Do you have to buy new letters? Are we on Wheel of Fortune? At the very least, give me full words if you're not gonna give me full sleeves. God, I hate a cold shoulder. Yeah. A cold shoulder is still a cold shoulder, even if you attempt to mask it with what is admittedly nice looking drapery. Not to have a total woman moment at you, but I'm like so cold all the time. Stop putting holes in my long sleeve tops. I'm shivering. Next, this design and color combo sits at the intersection somewhere between a fruit roll-up that is being squished onto the roof of a sugar-addled mid-90s child's mouth and a watercolor painting that a recent divorcee is doing to process their grief. It's not great looking to translate that for anyone outside of the labyrinthine hell space that is my brain and how I think of things. Why can't I describe things in normal ways? This entire series is me trying to take a thousand words just to say that something's ugly. Yeah. Remember when I said we were gonna talk about how to do shapelessness right? This is how to do it. Yes. I think this is beautiful. I love this hemline at the bottom that looks like I don't know, like a coral reef or something. <laughs> I love the way it's styled on these two models too. They both have these very simple updos, right? Very sort of severe and sleek with naked heels that don't pull too much focus and like very simple jewelry. All of the focus is on the dress itself, which I think it should be. I am completely biased because I have a dress in my real life, in my closet right now, that's a slightly less Olympian version of this one. It's a bit less grandiose, but it is just as shapeless and just as orange. And remember we talked about belting, mama? It looks so silly when I try to belt it, when I try to give myself my waist back, when I don't commit to the shapelessness of it. It looks terrible when I belt it, so I never do. And you know what? 
people always compliment me when I wear it. I need you to walk with me in the light of trust and understanding for a second. If you've never worn something that is this flowy and shapeless, the word shapeless isn't really what I mean. It's just not like tight to the body. But you know what I mean when I say, I mean like flowy and shapeless and like it, it you get it, you understand words. If you've never worn something like this because you're afraid it won't look sexy or you'll look bigger than you are, trust me that if it's in a gorgeous color like this and you commit to moving through space, like you're the goddess Hera about to torment some poor mortal woman her slutty husband seduced, I promise you people will notice in a good way. <laughs> when I'm in a getting caught on f***ing everything contest and my opponent is this jumpsuit. This is the draped sleeve chiffon top in the color fired brick. Objectively, this blouse is fine. It's sexy even. I love sheer clothing. Like that's not the problem here. I really do. It speaks to the frigid prude who figured out how to turn off Google safe search way too early in me. Like I very much sit, not to get too TMI, but the way that I present myself, I very much sit at an intersection of like, I don't know what sex is. And also I know too much. <laughs> <laughs> it toes a line between conservatism and sensuality that I like to ride in my approach to my own personal style is a better way to phrase what I just said. That being said, I would never in my earthly life wear a sheer flowy top with a strapless bra beneath it. Styling a, a sheer top like this with a strapless bra to me is like one of those buildings that has no ceiling on the inside. So when you look up, you see all the pipes and vents and grates that would otherwise be covered. My torso in a strapless bra is not sexy. It's scaffolding. Things are being hoisted and in response, other things are being pushed and squeezed and protruded. A strapless bra to me is not lingerie. It is a simple machine. It's literally a lever and pulley system. Ooh, we're doing more interesting things with drapery and layers. This is the ruffle layered top in the shade Wild Lime. Do not buy this top if you have a pet rabbit or turtle at home. And if you do, please, for your own sake, do not leave it in their eye line. Because here's what's going to happen. You're gonna come into your room after a shower trying to get dressed only to find Flopsy and Sheldon going to town on this top like they found a head of lettuce from God's own vegetable garden. That's gonna be thousands of dollars in vet bills and you're gonna be out 35.97 for the top. Destructed denim Bermuda short. Can I say something crazy? Will you take my hand and guide me into the warm light of mutual understanding for just one fleeting moment? Head to toe, this whole fit, this is a serve, I think. I think it might be a serve. And when I first laid eyes on this, I the shorts caught my eye first. I thought immediately, oh, you have to be kidding me. And then I thought about it for like 45 seconds. And I realized that skinny women who put together unconventional outfits on social media for a living wear stuff like this all the time. Like imagine this exact outfit, kitten heel flip flops, low waisted, oversized, destructed Bermuda shorts and like a tank top, hair down, simple jewelry. Imagine this exact outfit on like Victoria Beckham in 2006. It becomes much more plausible in that context, doesn't it? And I'm glad that I realized I was falling into the pitfall of thinking something that's more or less fine looked especially sloppy just because it's on a plus size body. Now, me personally, my personal plus size body. I haven't willingly worn bottoms on my hips as opposed to my waist since the Bush administration. But like somebody cooler and slash or fatter than me totally could wear this. I think I just hate Bermuda shorts, which is another reason why my knee jerk reaction to this was to think it looked bad. And I do hate Bermuda shorts, but when paired with elements like this, they evoke this sort of like very tantalizing, casualness you know it's very laid back it's very surfer girl i fear <laughs> to close this out i'm gonna look at a couple bridal outfits which i've never done in window shopping before okay 
wedding day looks. Let's let's really rock it out. Bridal by Eloquy embellished cape gown for $799. $800 is not a particularly eye-watering price for a wedding dress. Wedding dresses go crazy mode in terms of pricing all the time. It is, however, a lot of money for a dress that is this, for lack of a better term, bad looking. I'm experimenting with the phrase bad looking instead of ugly because I think, I feel as though they mean slightly different things, right? Like when something is ugly, it's ugly. (laughs) But when something is bad looking, it's like in contrast, it's like it's made up of things that could look good, but together they look bad. You know? (laughs) Okay, I mean, that's like functionally the definition of ugliness. I think I'm like desperately trying to tread lightly here because what if someone who bought this dress and wore it to their wedding, or worse, is planning to wear it to their wedding, like watches this video and here goes my ass yapping about how I don't like it for like this, that, and the third reason. And I just, I don't know. Wedding, like I don't usually worry about making people feel bad if they own something from a window shopping video because like whatever. But it's like, wedding dresses are different. They're wedding dresses. But you know what? If I ever talk about a wedding dress in this video or in the future in a bad way, and it's your wedding dress, here's what you can do. You could always just remind yourself that you bought this dress for your wedding. A ceremony where someone got up in front of everyone they know and God to profess their love and devotion to you and you alone. And I have a pit in the center of my mattress due to sleeping alone every single night. So, you know, one of us is clearly doing better and you can afford to take a couple lashes for your bad taste. Sorry. I mean, not great taste, bad looking taste. The beading on this dress, let's talk about that too. It looks like a dress made out of emery boards. It looks like if you hugged a bride wearing this, it would exfoliate your skin. I like that it is a wedding dress for plus size people with a modest neckline. I say this because I feel like a lot of plus size wedding dresses that I've seen, not necessarily from Eloquy, but elsewhere on the internet or especially on bridal shows that I've seen, they seem like they've been designed by people who think all fat women want turbo cleavage on their wedding day. However, this particular neckline, I I don't know, I feel like it's too casual. You know what I mean? It's almost like athletic looking. It reminds me of like a compression top for exercising. It's not like fancy enough. The sportiness of the neckline up here, coupled with the cape and these like grand shoulders, I just, it, it looks disorganized to me. It looks, I just don't find that the different pieces of this go together all that well. And I don't think the seams on the front look very good. As we've discussed earlier in the video, center slits make me homicidal. It's never gonna look good to me. Wedding dress for girl bosses. I love a short dress for a wedding. This is like the kind of thing that you wear to get married in a courthouse. I like, I, I don't know, there's something about it that I like. I like the idea of bridal outfits that are not gowns because not a, that doesn't work for everybody, right? Oh, these shoes are fun. I like how this is styled specifically in this picture. Like I really enjoy the earrings. I love the ponytail. I love the gorgeous like burgundy lip. And I love these shoes. I love an ankle strap heel and I love a pointed toe. It's all working very well for me. I like how I was hemming and hawing in the last one. Like I don't want to be mean about wedding dresses. And now I'm just like, this is the best wedding dress I've ever seen. (laughs) Interesting, you know? I can appreciate the transformative nature of this dress. However, girl, imagine having to deal with this like freestanding cuff on your arm for your, like this would, this looks like a sensory nightmare to me. The actual just little like white cocktail dress. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know if like it's too big for her or what, but it just doesn't look like, I don't know. I just like can't picture myself feeling beautiful in this dress. And that's like really important for a wedding. It is, it is important for a wedding. Oh, ooh, ooh, bridal by Eloquy maxi ruffle top. Oh, so you don't even get these pants. I say, guys, this is kind of cuckoo bananas crazy. I kind of like it. I kind of don't, but I kind of do. 
Interesting. This is kind of like a, a newer type of bridal silhouette with like the big sort of like cape top with just a tailored pant. I feel very conflicted about it, but is it just too non-traditional for my Catholic sensibilities? <laughs> like, I feel like it's both unbelievably overwrought and tacky, and I desperately want to be invited to the wedding of anybody who would wear this as their wedding garment. I feel like the bride seeking out an ensemble of this nature is wearing pink sling bags or cowboy boots or platforms and she's getting married somewhere painfully quirky like a, a theme park or a roller rink or a diner or like the desert. Like it would be so fun. I know that wedding would play such good music and it's like all quirky art type people who are in like, I don't know, funky jewelry and stuff. Like I think it would be, I feel like Eloquy, in order to curb normal people, buying this dress and then as a result misleading people by inviting them to non-quirky weddings. They should have some sort of like quirkiness placement test that you have to pass before you're allowed to add it to your cart, like a, a captcha to weed out boring people. Like it's karaoke night, what are you singing? Chasing Pavements by Adele or Groove is in the Heart by Delight. Like, take your bet. I'm gonna cut it off there, folks because my laundry is done and I have to go move it to the dryer. But thank you so much for watching this episode of Window Shopping. If you would like to follow me on other websites, I'm Nisi Pisa on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and PickleFan2002 on Tumblr. I might have to change my URL soon. That's like embarrassing to say in these videos. Goodbye.